Thank you.
<laughs> I was about to, uh, I realized I wanted to make something real quick, right? Uh, a new redeem. And hold on, I'm gonna make that new redeem right now. We can, we can make it together, all right? Nope, that's not, that's not Twitch, that's Twitter. I'm not looking at that right now. Uh, Twitch. I'm making a new redeem because I thought it would be funny to do. So, so bear me, with me with a second. Make sure that tab's muted just in case. Viewer rewards. Channel points. Manage rewards and challenges. Uh, what's something I'm not using? I'm playing, I'm using all of them. Um, do, 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 do. Uh. Mm. Hmm. Well, Yamari, since you're here, you can decide which point or reward to get rid of. For uh, Iris speaks Russian for two minutes, two minute Russian mode. <laughs> no one really uses baby, honestly. I mean, it's used occasionally, but it's not really used that much. Actually, I'm gonna take away Ubu. I'm taking Ubu away. And then I think it should cost actually two minutes, two minutes. All right, new redeem. I took. Oh god. <laughs> I took. I took Uwu away. All right, that should be updated hopefully. Yes. Okay. It's correct. Everything's correct. I gotta move that over. Do do. All right, new redeem is now available for use. I got it settled. Everything is good to go. Um, <laughs> I had the idea, like, right as soon as I started stream, so I had to... I'm here? I am here! I've been here! Hello! I asked you a question, you didn't answer me! <laughs> oh, my cat's here. <laughs> my bad, I know, embarrassing. You're reading stuff? Oh, understandable. What did you ask? I asked which redeem I should take away for my new one because I had an idea for a new redeem and that's uh, I speak Russian for two minutes except I'm bad at keeping count so <laughs> I took Uwu away and decided on taking Uwu away. It's not that I have a limit. I don't, I don't think I have a limit on my redeems. It's just I wanted to take one away because I didn't want to have too many to choose from. Can't wait to learn Russian from you. Mm. You can do a Russian Duolingo stream sometime. My cat is circling my chair. Bum, 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 bum. There's something else I wanted to check real quick, but I don't remember. I'll just keep redeeming there, you know, at least one word. Uh, here, I'll teach you one for phrase. Здравствуйте, which is hello. Здравствуйте. Mm -hmm. There you go. You know, hello. Pog. It was free. It's a freebie. There's something else I wanted to do, but I can't remember what it was. Oh, I remember. I remember. I remember. I remember. Uh, do, 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 do. I wanted to go into mod mode and approve all of the redeems that have been used. You need an expert now? Congrats. I'm so proud of you. Good thing. Complete all. Yes. Your bot lied to me? What the heck was that about? I don't know. He's... Why is he lying? My bot is lying. I am live. Okay. 
honestly, he's lying. My Discord bot is lying to everyone. <sighs> Alright. Uh, I got a Discord and I wonder what that could be. <laughs> no clue, right? It's it's a mystery. It's a mystery. <laughs> This is a good lo-fi. Um, so I, in theory, should be able to beat Bioshock tonight. Maybe someone DM'd me like, malware? <laughs> oh my god, you're getting malware? Oh god. Mainstream. Uh, Bioshock. Oh shit, my phone is in silence. Uh, there we go. Normally I catch that before Sathog like that. <laughs> Oh, why would Shock fail the- would you- no. Right. Um, I should be able to beat the game tonight. I don't have any water near me. I'm griefing? Actually griefing? No water? Hold on. While the game's launching, I'm gonna go get water, okay? It's it started launching now, but I'll be back. I have water. I have water. Cat is the stream now. Let's go. It's okay. I'm back. I've got water. Yeah, streamer's back to ask you about your day. How have you been? <gasps> Load game. Alright. Okay. My day's been high. How's yours? Um, I went and hung out with my friend, who's a mermaid. We were, I was helping making her, I, I was making, I was helping her make a character sheet for a D&D &D game that I'll be running for her and two other friends. In person, D&D, &D. ooh, it's so exciting. I actually... Oh, I've already been through this part, so I can talk over it. I remember, um, before everything went down with Arcadum, I thought it was always really cool that he was a D&D streamer who had, like, a bunch of players in his world, right? Like, he did... Sorry, I ran up the stairs. <sighs> Oh shit. That's your breath, your pet. <laughs> I, I didn't want to leave my stream unattended for too long, you know? But I thought it was really cool that he had created a, like, a world that so many people could- I saw, I can read chat, you know, like, I see it. I not put the bench? I thought it was really cool. Just like his whole shtick of just being a DM for like several groups and all the groups were interacting together in that world like they could have like huge collabs. And I always thought that was super cool and I wish I could do something like that but I don't have the time. 
to It sounds like it does sound super sick. Like it would be so fun to run a game for people and like have all the worlds like intersect like that. That would be so cool. Except I would need with the current free time that I have right now, I would need a year of planning ahead of time. Right? I would need to be able to plan for a year. And then I would need to minimum if I wanna run several groups. If I wanna run several groups in one single world and have them be able to interact and have their actions affect all the other groups that are also playing in that world. Which, like, I do have a world that that could be possible with that I've already been working on for a while. But it's really ambitious of me. I'm trying to try to get you to join a ZD group, but I don't know how you might. I will say D and D isn't fully for everyone, but like there's so many things you can do in D and D that makes it so versatile that more people can play it. Would you kindly shoot for 48 months straight? No. Uh, Ten and Bomb has removed that programming from me. You missed your chance. You're not dead. But role playing is really fun. I just get like super anxious about it. I also get really mean to people that I'm playing with. Like, if, even if I like the person, if. Because I put so much effort in that, like, if someone doesn't match my effort, like, if a player doesn't match my effort, like, even halfway, I get angry. <laughs> but, like, I'm the type to, like, just simmer in my hatred quietly. I'm the type to just be like, okay. I need electricity. You're hard. I don't want to do that right now. I don't want to start off the stream with hacking. Alarm bot. hacking it's so annoying because I've done it so much oh that's that's how it's music I grew up, I hope I can move to the rapture. <laughs> I heard the sound effect that I didn't heal. <laughs> I wasn't ready. Let me out. Unless I had the wrong ability out. 
He hurts so damn much. <laughs> the hell is this? Switch weapons, right? I'm not warmed up. I haven't played any video games today. He's literally one tap. This is so cringe. Pulled out the fucking. Hey, Mr. Bubbles. Or Mr. Bubbles' daughter, sorry. Alright, well, now that I. Had a very embarrassing mm. first fight. Um, Adam improved every aspect of man except his cancer. Ow! Perhaps there is a plasmid that can grow the spirit. Um, maximum health went down. in your DNA, the secret life. I've sent a little one with some goodies to help ease your burden. That's it, kid. You're Busto. My oh, shit. new friends. We'll catch up with you soon. Ah, uh, kid. I hope they make it quick. Uh, I have a lot of Adam. Um, health upgrade. Please upgrade. Combat tonic slot. Um, that's one three. I like that. Electro bolt three. Are you liking this so far? Honestly, I've had fun. I probably will play Bioshock 2 after. Uh, I didn't play it when I was younger, even though my brother had it, because um, the head sway of the helmet first Bioshock game was infinite? That's fine. Probably. Uh, Alright, nerd. Um, are you the circus of values that I want? Welcome to the circus of values! too late.
get it. It took a few tries, but I got it. Hacking Smurf, thank you. I that, that was essentially my warm-up for the day. Mm, that's right. Apollo Square. I guess I will be going to Apollo Square a little later. But I need to go here right now. Dream Bank. Oh, thank you for writing, Ceres. How did the rest of that go? Does Drew look good still? Is it beautiful? Hello, hello. It's Bioshock time. Sakura Storm incoming. <laughs> This is embarrassing, hold on. I think the brand is uh, getting raided and then immediately fucking dying, you know? Hello, don't die. Thank you, Professor Pui. I'll try not to. You know what I'll always have? Wrench. This is Bioshock, uh, a game in which you don't see me. A game in which um, you alter your genes and uh, I don't know, get manipulated by everyone around you. I don't really know how to. I would even describe this game. I'm pretty far in though, I'm past the main twist of the game. I've heard I've got like four hours left. Let's use a scuff rain. I've never raided before. Okay, when I raid, I kind of just don't even, like, give, um, <laughs> give a raid message. I'm just like, hey, I'm here, what's up? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, just a man. He's not a... Send the bees after her. Damn. Her type of mob is when she dies, she'll drop um, an explosive when she dies. Got no more health packets? I just bought a bunch of. Okay, I'll buy more. Welcome to the 
first aid kits are hack only? What is this? Hello, mermaid dream. I most durable wrench of all time. Yeah. This wrench. This wrench is built different. No more, please. Wait, no, fuck, wait. I was doomed from the start. Ow. This bullshit. That bomb Get some money, say. buddy. I'm poor. Huh? Oh, I wish I could. <laughs> Any other game, I would have been able to sneak in there. I've seen good bunko, and I've seen great bunko. But when you waltz through Rapture and World War II without even a scratch, you got more than leprechauns. Hmm. Fontaine to become some kind of boogeyman man in rapture. That man Damn. gives him power. But it's like broken. Flam and a humbug, he's just another con man. And like all con men, he worries he'll end up on the wrong side of grief. That's why he commissioned a lot of 192. The antidote to the mental control plasma. Yeah. Fontaine said I'd better not tell anybody about the antidote. Favorite girl play in my favorite game. I knew there was something to that. Always secret when with Kijong, always. He must have this lot 192 in his lab near Apollo Square. I once stole it off and brought it back to my flat on the second floor, but those things would have taken it back to Fontaine's penthouse upstairs. I never knew what lot 192 was for, but if Suchang was doing something in secret, on this I keep my eye. It's an honorable battle, buddy. But I'm just hashtag buddy. Ow! Can you not do that shit? But business is business. Don't let it get you down. Won't make a difference when this whole I'm at the point where I have hack only med kits, buddy. Ah, it's bees. Oh, holy shit, that scared the fuck out of me. Welcome to the <laughs> I need one more dollar! I need a dollar! I don't even have 15 bucks. I'm gonna upgrade my weapon. Grenade launcher damage increase. <laughs> I'm sad. He looked at me wrong and I died. I took emotional damage right there. I can't fight without med kits. Plus, why did he aggro onto me? What did I do to him? Hey, dude. Um, I didn't know the game literally made everyone pause when I did this. Well, that's funny to know. Thank you, Mister. You're welcome. You're welcome, girly. 
I did it. They free you. <laughs> Thank you, mister. Dead on the ground. Oh my god, he had a med kit on him. Oh my god, and I have money. Oh my god. Hello. Oh, value. Oh. I don't use the flamethrower that often, actually. Probably should start doing that more. You have to keep going upstairs. Ha ha ha. barbed wire. You know, I've never had it before, so honestly, I'm excused. What? He actually hit back. No, but he was like on another floor. I think my turret hit him on accident. That's fucked. Try. Put yourself out? No, don't do that. Feels like uh, bullying, really. I'm just following him around, and he's trying to put himself out, and I just keep setting him on fire again. What's up, Quetzal Cotton? I'm not a good guesser, so you can just tell me. <laughs> Understood. I'll put the cat ears on. It'll take me a moment, but they're coming on. Cat ears. Okay. Boop, boop, boop. Honestly, I respect that. Coming in, making me put on the cat ears, leaving. That, that's fair enough, honestly. I honestly... Oh! There we go. And then I re-tab into the game. I may as well save while I'm... I already got both little... The game scared me. <laughs> Hog, have fun. Will do. I'm gonna beat the game tonight if it's the last thing I do. Save. Better save, you know, just in case. He has this thing of uh, just crashing when I plan on ending stream, and I don't like to replay sections. Replaying Arcadia sucked. Bye! Have fun! Can't wait to put my wrench through his face. Looks like things have gone busto between Fontaine and his little German bean hole. Why a guy like Fontaine would waste his time with a spooky crowd when he could be getting the gravy from 
Any dish he chooses is beyond the understanding of this papa rat's. Even reset the door code to find It's been my favorite level. Maybe to be double sure that Beepo don't spout up any yard again. Oh shit. Um fine. Probably the one, the, uh, the art dude. Because I didn't have to kill him. He was just a crazy dude. Yeah, it's a good level. I mean, I still haven't beaten it, so like my opinion might change. beautiful at some point i just think that you know like you know how a house settles hearing rapture settle would be terrifying wait that's a flat image Just a black little little shark. He kind of looks like he's just floating through space. I'm not gonna lie. But you know, 2007 game it looks great for for the year. I'm not gonna lie. What's wrong with her memories? Oh, there's a way to go over there. I nearly left two dollars behind. That could be the difference between me and a medkit right now. It's been it's been rough on the wallet these days. Gone are the days where I was just carrying around three hundred buckaroons like it was nothing. Dead. Um. All right, I'm gonna try it though. Well, that's just bullying. Thirty-four dollars and alcohol. Habana is special cigars. Shouldn't be.
Ah yes, following the arrow. Ooh. Do I know that? Do I do I perhaps know that? We love the all-knowing arrow. So true. Love it. Hey, buddy. Don't oh, mind me. Probably a code in there that I just did not look at. That's hard wire. Don't want to do that again. This is not her apartment. This is the abandoned one. Bro! Nice ears, thank you. Otherwise, you'd have been cut in two by the first security bot you crossed paths with. But not Ryan. He made it so his security would recognize his genetic structure. With half his genes, you ain't immune, but you got just enough to throw their metallic mooks off their game. Well, I know horror isn't the code. Love those. Oh, five bucks. There's got a way of cold in here somewhere. Frank Fontaine, we think must be a day that ends in war. V-Bug? No, they're numbers. Unless you can make V-Bug into numbers. Four numbers. Well, I haven't been in here yet, clearly. Four twenty? You think so? I'll go try it. Oh shit! Damn, why do you sound so sad as you go? Nope. <laughs> Broke both legs. The code. I know he was... They've been talking, and I've been talking over them. Chuck that's a win for myself. I believe their rhythm has been thoroughly rattled. But I wanted those electric bookshuts. That's a health code violation? Probably. Oh, the big fire? Ah, it's normal. They're in the ocean, it'll get put out. Oh, they're Houdini splicers. Uh, 
That's not what I wanted, Mr. Cohen. I'm sorry. Oh, hey! Well, I certainly, uh, knew how to dance to that tune, huh? I would say I'm an expert Walter. The old one to run around in a circle. The good old Annie from League of Legends treatment. Smells like burning. Bro. Quoting the menace, Annie. <laughs> He's adorable. And he's an absolute menace on the rift. You know who's a menace? Seraphine. You know who I ban every single time because I just hate her? Zyra. Those Zyra players are insufferable. Like, when they build full power and the roots just, like, if you're playing a squishy character and the roots are just near you, they kill you faster than you can get rid of the roots. It's... If you're stupid like me. Full AP and they 100 to 0 you. They literally... <laughs> I have all my HP, Zyra walks by me, I'm dead. Like, I hate it. Legit menaces on ARM, I'm sure. Excuse me. Um, I'm taking a look around. Oh, Picasso, I like it. I'm trying to cook here in the dead instantly. Literally trying to do the Nico ARAM thing, and Zyra just looks at me wrong. Notes. No. That's not. That's help. Messages. Fontaine to become some kind of no. Why are they all 
hard now. Quad, I kind of for dodging too much. My man, you've been dodging a -rams? So I need to go down. Did it. Hello? Hello? Hang on. They keep giving me J4, I'm like... Friend who plays Jarvan for come on. Where are you? That must be rough. They honestly giga buffed Miko by changing her hitbox to be smaller. And I think that's funny. magic on you. Shoot, shoot. Blew up the health station. That's so sad. What if I needed that later? Terrible. Awful. Doesn't think about others. Selfish. Nothing in the cello case? Could be a base either. It could be a base either. I'm assuming it's a cello though. That's not okay. I thought it was a. Uh, thought it was a cage, and I'm like, hmm. You know, would be rapture weirdos, huh? At what point do I just uh, give up and start making up combinations to put down there? I must have looted it and forgot. Loot and run. Loot and run. You think you're some kind of hero? I ordered you up from Suchong like a Chinese dinner. A little from column A, a little from column B. What do you plan on going back to? Your fake family? Your phony dreams? Putting you out of your misery? Will be the nicest thing anyone's ever done for you. Mm. Oh boy, that's not something you decide. A little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. What's y'all's favorite thing to order from Chinese places? I love sesame chicken. I'm gonna patent that phrase. Well, he's already said it, so it's kind of hard.
waste of time. Until Adam, you could no more domesticate a child than a boa constrictor. Fontaine gives a strong history for child that he wants to imprint in the child's head. A kid, not a person. A juke box. Ready to play whatever tune Fontaine wants to hear. <laughs> I'm a juke box. Fortnite, not Fontaine. Very confident series. Do you sneeze? If so, bless you. I sneezed twice. Thank you. Bless you, times two. Poggers. Double blessed. Sorry, my linear game making me explore? Kinda cringe. You know the code, buddy? You happen to know it? It's the big daddy to break the door. Chow mein plus sesame chicken or mushroom pork after that spicy shit they got. Uh, have you ever had Mongolian beef? He's really good. I like Mongolian beef. I don't want to sit here and keep guessing. Damn, it's not 4269. Good recommendations. Tasty. Have I checked this house yet? Yes. I don't think I checked it well enough. Recommendations. I hate to sound like a boomer, but I feel like with the advancing of society, kids won't be able to spell anymore because of autocorrect and all that. Which, I don't... It frees up minds for... To be able to do other things. But I don't know. But language might change to, like, have simpler spellings for stuff, so... I can't spell when we are only two years apart. Hmm, it's already begun. Your younger brother called you a boomer today? What you get for calling me a boomer? Deserved. Okay, boomer. Okay, boomer. Okay, boomer. Okay, boomer. Oh, Drew, I added a new redeem. That might interest you. I changed out uwu -woo for something else. Let's be honest, I you are a boomer. Not as much as some people think, but an old 23. Ugh! So mean. Aren't you 23? Baby! A young and spry 23. Could have beat your ass one day. You know what? I'll take the hint. Uh, at the top of Mercury Suites in Fontaine's own penthouse. Paparazzi's diary, which is on the third floor. I didn't think it would be the paparazzi diary. It's 5744. Cringe. Uh, yeah, it's... Yeah, it's... Yeah, it's... 
4. Да. Да, это... Это сделает это. Мне надо по-русски разговаривать на 2 минуты. Пока я могу считать 2 минуты. Понимаешь, все перфектно. Английские филы не работают. Да, я все поменяла теперь. Там английского нема. Прошу прощения. Бубай, на на, на тебе. Почему бежит? Все уже конец. А, хак надо. А, русский вейн. А. Ну все что, все что я знаю про русский вейн, оно это странные звуки делает. Я могу сказать, что я хочу, никто меня не понимает. А, мне надо сюда идти, потом мне надо туда, прямо вверх надо. А, мне вверх. Сай. А, ну, блин. Хорошо. А... Блядь. Окей. 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 А мне надо... Вверх. Угу. Да. Прям. Вверх. Еще вверх. Прямо. Прямо. Easy clap. <laughs> it's a cash word. I was just like, unless there's like a trip. What do you think you're doing? Healing? Only I'm allowed to do that. I think that was two minutes anyway. Give or take? Yeah. I don't really put a timer on it. I kind of just assume. Plus, I was doing that puzzle thing. It felt like forever. The only thing I can really say while doing puzzles is, uh, cursing. Oh my god, I can break it. Game of the year. But yeah, there's no limit on it. Because I didn't think to put one on. I'm, I made it as soon as stream started. Because I thought of it. Cerise made me think of it. I think it would be fun. Gotta do the math on that. <laughs> Who do you think goes outside and like scrubs the starfish off and there's no like... Because like eventually the ocean life would like break down the city. Do you think they have scrubbers? Like the little like skyscraper window cleaners but for rapture? Like so they're underwater in like their little scuba suit? Or are those the big daddies? The big daddy's original job? Mmm. Good for them. Staying employed. Big puppies. Большой папа. I can make you speak your 130 minutes straight. 
At that point, I'd refund you after a certain point. Ow! Stream. I can add another hundred times. <laughs> At that point, I have to straight change my stream title. The duo ready. Look, there's vodka here, guys. And we're low. There we go. Hmm, drugs. so good. Do they have limes? Are you tra are you adding limes with your vodka? That little bitch behavior right here? I can't see. Are you not? No? You don't just take a shot with nothing with it. Imagine eating a chaser. Are you like the taste of butt? Oh, you're drinking bad. You're drinking bad vodka. I know something's gonna happen the moment I pick that up, so I need to... Place it back. If your vodka doesn't taste like rubbing alcohol, just straight rubbing alcohol, you are drinking the wrong vodka. The compound is taking hold. The effects of the mental suggestion are now gone, but there will certainly be side effects. Uh, I. Plasma sorted immediately. Ow. My own brother. Nah, I'm not gonna bother with that. Share the elevator, but uh -huh. yeah, we're trying the elevator. Target dummy, dude. Do I 
have now. Electro Bolt, love this shit. Favorite plasmid on God. Oh, there's shit in here. Oh, I don't want to jump in there, huh? Yes? Yes? You'll send the boy out. The boy. Enrage? Eh. I never used Enrage. Let me in, please. A new curfew? What if I'm homeless? You ever consider that one? I'm not gonna answer you, buddy. The circus of value. Poor Big Daddy. I know. He's gonna keep looking and no one's gonna answer him. Some money, buddy. It is too dangerous to re-engineer your plasmids in the state of payment for giving. You'll just have to make do with what you have. Cringe. Oh, I gotta go to Apollo Square. Load it. It's too dangerous. No such thing as too dangerous. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Leaks, lunatics, rebellion, and out-bleeding ghosts, ain't life in rapture grand? Bill McDonough. Ba, 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 ba. Share the boys and Ryan's love can make it. Oh, I don't know what it says. Hypnotize Big Daddy. Oh, uh, there's two little sisters in this level. Let's hope I can get them as soon as possible. Pussy cat cat food. Welcome to the circus. A value. I guess some plasmids weren't public use. Insects for me, yeah, buddy. Telekinesis, fuck telekinesis. Well, he's got friends. Oh my god. There you go, girly. You know, I haven't had to just, uh, Thank you. hunt down and wait for Big Daddies to respond for Little Sisters in a few levels now. Don't run over the proximity mine now, okay? Cyclone Trap. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh 
I got the first thing mine. I was just getting warmed up! It's funny. It's hard to use, but it's funny. Gene Trader? Oh my god. Or Levi's, I know. Well, I got two hack tools over there that I'll probably forget about. What? I don't even use the crossbow. They give me so many options. And I just stick with the first few things they give me at the beginning. Second, you know? Hey, what's up? Oh, what was it? It came from this way. Oh boy, it stuttered. I got scared. Ah, oh, tools. Firing it. Oh my ass, my good friend here. I'll be hanging on a straight lamp? How? I don't have that kind of arm 
traits? Listen to me. You know, maybe the crossbow is good. I just have to aim. I gotta scratch my nose. DLC for this? Maybe. Not sure. Drew, do you have the DLC for this? It's a big daddy drill. Clinical trial protector system. Plasma in lot 255. Dr. Su Chong. Client Orion Industries. Very frustrating day. I can't seem to get the damn big daddies to imprint on the little brats. You don't think so? Kill of the challenge rooms? Oh. Oh, that's the jump. That's tough. Now you are having freedom. Su Chang's drugs should have no hold on you. Take the bathysphere to point Prometheus. It is time for this matter to be settled. The matter will be settled. I have both. I need one more little sister. It's time. The did it did it did it did it do. Nice try. This is better. I am over here. What are you talking about? Imagine getting into a firefight and not just uh, beating them down. That's crazy. Even 
Boy gun. Hey, did I have fall damage? Sometimes I forget the arrow follows my camera. Or like my field of view. Out for a few moments because, um, well, I'm gonna be killing the big daddy, he's got a little sister out, you know. Another dude. Oh my God. Why are you running? Care of it, Big Daddy, please. one on the level. I got you. I got you in my sights. 
What can I really do for these little ones? I am tainted by sin. But you, perhaps you unlock a future for them that I cannot even imagine. A little one heads your way with a gift. Yep. Please be careful. I'm a killer? Yeah. You can use both hands at once. Ah, we'll see. We will see. People keep saying like having both hands at once is fine is like really nice, but like I honestly have been fine with just one hand. Adam denies you an excuse. That is really clever for an extremely... Uh, my thoughts can't be strung together because it's going to be very noisy. I'd like to invent, uh... These. Thank you. I thought I had a shotgun out. I've seen someone play Burial at Sea. I've seen someone play Biotrack Infinite and Burial at Sea, so... Bro. Some things didn't click until I played the twist of this game, though. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. Hey, sorry, buddy. You're my friend now, and you fucking backhanded me. Friends aren't supposed to backhand you, I think. Oh man, my turret. My turret! Molten core! Would you say it had infinite amounts of fun? This is... This is really high up. Oh my. The way ties his story together, Chef's Kiss, yeah. I love when things ties together really nicely. Oh. 
I need to go to the Metro. A game I want to play is also Metro 2033. Set in Russia after the apocalypse. Metro's an awesome franchise. I've heard good things. What the funny part is, is with, with Metro, I finished watching the uh, studio scene in the last game. With Metro, I've been thinking, like, should I just play it in Russian? Or should I have it in English if I stream it? Dark Elizabeth is so hot. Dark Elizabeth is... Hashtag great. You know, it's just- why would they give me any other weapon than the wrench? I found the director's commentary for this level. I haven't found them for all levels, but I found like three. I'm gonna save now. Select. <laughs> Metro is super dope, though. That'd be fun to watch. Yeah, I... The game has, um... The concept that you have to use bullets as currency, but you also need them to kill enemies. If you played in Russian, I was saying, like, one thing. Yeah, it's like... I would personally enjoy it more if it was in Russian. But... It would be hard for my audience to understand if it's not in Russian. You know? to uh oh. forever to go out. You have the special edition? Oh yeah. Oh I could just break down. You know what? I could use oh my god. You know, he said something to me, but, uh... There's three little sisters in this level. Um... Country right's pretty bad right now. Did you kindly beat all the Bioshock games tonight? Nah, I've got things to do. I broke the- oh. He's already dead. You see the suit control system? The good, yes. That is step one of turning you into one of those disgusting big I'm gonna become one? The only way to get through that door Fontaine went through is to have a little one open. Am I gonna become a big daddy? Am I Jack in Bioshock 2? Do you just spoil Bioshock 2? That's just my theory, you know, a game theory.
It's a different character entirely. All right. Wait, that's my turret. Oh shit. Oops. Uh, damage research. Thank you. Should be in fail safe armored escort, but no matter. Take them, take them. A big daddy before you are able to draw out the little one. My legacy. Don't fight open. I'm gonna die if you explain there, so I'll try to do this. Literally one tap and they just can't hit me, huh? I'm gonna die in two seconds though. Welcome to the circus. Oh value. I know. Motherfucker. Jesus. 
You need to find me. So me, 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 me. Here is where you'll be finding the voice box to have sounds like one of those big daddies. Let's talk to the creature. I'm lazy. Back to that. They just chunk me instead of 1 HPing me, which is what they used to do before. I'm not used to that. <sighs> After several respawns. I got 
the bullets. It's gonna be hard to hear other big daddies when I make noise like a big daddy. Oh, eugenics. Decontamination. Best place to kill people in Among Us, honestly. What have I already picked up? I don't know. You love the Tommy gun? So true. Yeah. Okay, gotta stop from there. Oh, fuck. Fuck! Should I heal? Oh my god, it's right there. <sighs> I got stressed for a second. Here is where they build their filthy golems that frighten them. Find the pieces of this suit. Sky fill. Stop, 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 stop. One hour till Wordle. My friend was playing, um... Mortal Unlimited earlier. Also, all we need now is body suit. Oh, I hate this. I'll take anyone who says I'm not a bad person might, in fact, be a bad person. I stick to those words at. Oh, man. 
I shouldn't have engaged while there's still people alive. Where was I? I was upstairs. No, good thing my hands are still uh Listen, armored escorts. We can run this place because you're determined to kill me. Is it the point? I don't get the world that me on my identity become a nomad that roams the earth. That's what you want. Where's the little sister? I was just getting woke up! Ma'am. Thank you. Jesus. Goodness. for a med kit. I care about other people's mistakes, I care about mine. I know it wasn't the big daddy. <laughs> How many are there on this level? Two more. This is a pain, honestly. At some point, things stop. Things have finished being difficult and they're more annoying than anything. vending station? I'd love to. Ha! Motherfucker has aimbot on. He's got aimbot! How do you see me through the wall? <laughs> Cheating. Plus, I gotta go through decontamination every single time. I gotta hurry so the little sister doesn't go away. Cause she already went away and came back once. Where is she? Where'd she go? Where'd they go?
I wish Electro Bolt did damage. It doesn't. Still upstairs? Are you still upstairs? You would not believe the trouble I had to go through for you, little girl. You would not believe what I've been through. You saved me. He did his best. He really... He really did great. I like them. Very funky. If I run into another big daddy with a little sister, I'm gonna be so upset. I've got like nothing. You know, you should be thanking me. Should I? I brought you here. I showed you who you are. Nobody never told you nothing but lies till I come along. <laughs> Yeah, but you're a dick. Cyberbullying me, so it's karma. It's never this bad. All oh, right, I get an HP back from hitting people with my wrench now. That's a plus. Cyberbullying. Bro. How, what's your damage, bro? Show me your DPS meter. On oh, God. Build heal cut. My dude's got grievous wounds. Jesus. Where's my Soraka? Strongly. Running around without having a vending machine for med kits is really just like. Whoa. Holy shit. What are you crying about? Beat your ass.
horse shit. for drain plant. close to a friend. Oh, they don't really have ceilings, huh? There's probably something up there then. Oh god, they can be fucking down to their bed. It's so sad. Take my points at the same time I want to spend them. What a conundrum. You'll always earn more. Give me the money. I'm desperate. Running out of but potato chips. It's hurting me. Circus of Valley! I have seven books. Will I ever earn 50k more? Maybe. Seven dollars. <laughs> Gotta... Gotta spend money to earn money. Some little bitch. Last four moans rot there. And that is safe cracker too. Yeah, a lot of needles. Really. What's the matter? Just getting tired. The vent. Hold you on. need to bring them out of hiding, and then they'll let you in the door. Go on, hit the vent with your wrench. Hello. On the better. It would mean very much to me. Will be gentle with the girl. Ein kleines Mädchen. Hmm? Thank you. Oh, you're coming with me? 
Oh, that's what I thought. Gotta get some socks on if you want to walk around Rapture. Imagine getting those socks wet. Imagine getting trench foot in Rapture. It seems like it's more likely than, like, anywhere else. For some reason. It's definitely not the place to walk around with bare feet. I don't know, man. If your socks get wet, this is a very moist atmosphere. The little ones will leave you to Sunday. Hurry! But you Hurry. must protect them. Sunday sucks. Hold on, I'm putting a blanket on. Okay. Gotta stay warm. If I lose my feet, I can get a cool robot feet. In the 60s? God, my peripherals are so lacking right now. A sprout? My man used the word sprout. Angels are waiting for our kisses. Sticking some butter on it. God. A little bit of butter, a little bit of salt. Okay, there's no little sisters on this line. Though they are physically free of the need to gather, Suchong's mental conditioning still holds them to their terrible task. For things such as this, we can never atone. You sure are. Where is she? Ah, oh, there she is. Oh, 
Are you done? Move on. I think she took damage because she walked through fire. I'm not gonna lie. Interesting. Hurry, hurry, Mr. Bubbles. Ignore the lies and lies and the parasites. Oh fuck, wait a minute. Okay, Sue's back, back again, welcome back. I got scammed on this one.
There we go. I've already lost. I should walk through fire, I'm pretty sure. She keeps getting shot up by uh, these sorts of things. Literally, Elpia Slowpoke gets blown up. Yeah, I saved a lot of their lives, so... Come on, kid. I feel like I should run ahead to just clear shit out. And maybe you're the one who needs to hurry. Angels don't wait for slow folks. Angels don't wait for slow folks. No, I should have kept that. I'll try. 
Oh, that's you, Jesus. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, thank god, Jesus. If anything, my- oh. My reaction is good. You know, like... I rec- I saw movement and I was ready to go. I got that going for me. Girl, can you consider maybe the fact that I've got shit to clean up? It ain't easy being in town complex. He's stuck in a corner. Better for the girl to be with you. Better with you than alone. Alone in the crawling darkness. Hurry, Mr. B. I can see angels dancing in the sky. Praying for you to murder a big daddy? Yeah, I mean, she's screaming for me to murder everyone, really. Probably missed something, but oh, can't forget those. Those are hot commodities these days for me. Man, I'm sorry, turtle. I had to check. TV. No time to waste. Time to go, Mr. B. Time to go. Is that? You are reaching close now. There! You must use the leader of your little sister to drain Fontaine of his Adam. It is the only way to... Welcome to the circus! I guess I'll be fighting soon. I 
from looting. Hold on. All right. No going back, huh? Sickle, engineering, wrench damage, wrench lurker, physical damage. Show one and two, and jockey. Physical. Electric camouflage. I don't think I'll need this. Look, looks for two. Yeah, should be okay. There's no time to waste. Hold. You think I'm wasting time right now? You... Welcome to the circus of Valley. Much. I'll have Electro out. Well, yeah, I'll start with anti personal rounds. You want to go to Circus of Values? So do I. Here it goes. You know that nine out of ten ladies prefer the athletic man? You believe in you? You believe in me? Thank you. I just noticed someone clipped me this stream. What was the clip? What's the clip? Sport boost tonic ASAP. I remember when me and the crowd put you in that sub. You were no more than two. You were my ace in the hole. Mm -hmm. But you were also the closest thing I ever had to a son. And that's why this hurts. But real kid. Life ain't strictly business. <laughs> Hmm. Heal insults. Oh. You are. Go now! Hit him with the needle! Subject, I can't take photos of him. Ah. Peace. Peace. Little bastard's kind of 
смъртни. Да бих залвам, я, я, Take my time. Gotta make sure I pick these turrets up ASAP, you know? Like my, my little my little buddies. Been my friend the whole game. Look at these curvy boys. Look at how they go. Something very important. Ten bucks, but I'll buy it. I can't use it, but neither can they. You know? The beat down. I'll try. Honestly? Good. Good shit right there. That's some good tasty shit right there. Get dunked on, bozo, by children. <gasps> What's this? They offered you this city. And you refused it. And what did you do instead? What I've come to expect of you. You saved them. You gave them the one thing that was stolen from them. A chance. A chance to learn. They went to college? To find love. They got me! 
to live. They had children? <laughs> and in the end, what was your reward? You never said. But I think I know. A family. I was there, Dad. Honestly, that's that's pretty satisfying. I'm honestly pretty satisfied with that. Like I I guess if I had like harvested all the little sisters, I would have gotten an ending where like I accepted the city and like I went mad with power or whatever. Like I'm just assuming that's what the other ending is. But I'm content. I, I genuinely like the peaceful runs more than... More than the evil runs. Yeah, pretty close. Yeah. <laughs> they got me went to college and they got married. And they had the kids. And they were at my deathbed and held my hand. Assuming that if I had harvested them all, no one was no one held my hand and I died alone. We hired just two little sisters to get the bad ending. Just two, man. I save them all. Man, they had to make sure you had zero temptation, huh? Make sure you went in with zero temptation. Honestly, kind of don't want to replay this game, like, ever. Or still, because some parts were annoying to play, and I felt frustrated playing it sometimes. But in general, because I think I have the ending that makes me the happiest. I'm not an, I'm not an achievement hunter. Too much hacking, to be honest. Yeah, it felt that hack, like, constant, like, hacking, yes, player choice, but, like, if I didn't hack, it was harder. <laughs> Bioshock too soon? Yeah. I have to make sure it's in my library. I'll probably play that tomorrow. We're gonna watch the director's films, actually, after this. I'm curious. Like, stream isn't over, just cause the game's over. We've got some films to watch. The collected tapes that I have. I want to see what the directors thought. It's a little watch along now. Now we get to watch a movie together now, guys. <laughs> a watch along. Yeah, a watch along. I love watching things. Yeah, same. Visually, I think Arcadia, Arcadia was my favorite area. That's just visually, though, gameplay-wise. I got lost a lot. I think I said I was lost in Arcadia the most. Um, forest area was really pretty to look at, because it was a forest. Um, it also introduced the Houdini Splicers, which I hated. Those little fucks. Uh, why aren't you standing still and letting me punch you? That's just cringe. Uh... They were mad annoying. I- they'd be one tap and then just vanish and I'd be like, where are you, you little fuck? <laughs>
The only thing I'm not looking forward to in Bioshock 2 is the constant field of view thing with the big daddy. Because, like, I think the helmet, like, moves with you or whatever. And I remember when I tried to play that when I was younger, I got motion sick. <laughs> so I'll play, like, the beginning five minutes on my own and give it a shot and see if I can work something out. Uh, I'll let Discord know. Get a bucket or a pot just in case. Just in case. If not infinite time, yeah, I'd have to skip straight to infinite. Which some people say you can skip Bioshock 2 because I was looking into it and other people were like, playing it is a sin and others say play not playing it is a sin. But like, I may as well play it, right? Like, it, it was released for a reason, so... Although infinite, would I'd have to turn off, uh, no backseat. I skip one and two because I'm a cool cat. Alright, I found five of them. So we'll watch the five that I found. One of the biggest challenges Irrational faced when developing Bioshock was figuring out a way to retain the feeling of a deep RPG while making the game accessible to a broader console audience. Uh -huh. Ultimately, the team succeeded in creating an intricate system of weapon and character upgrades that gave the player choice and customization while keeping the gameplay fast, lean, and engaging. Uh -huh. One of the hallmarks of Bioshock to me, at least, oh my god, that really little sister statue. RPG and sort of first-person action game together in a way that, you know, is sort of standard today, but a decade ago was, was really pretty revolutionary. It was. And I know for the team, I think at some point it became clear that you wanted this to work on consoles, not on PC, right? Well, both, yeah. Yeah. Um, but so the idea of, you know, doing a console game and a PC, a PC game, and doing something that sort of felt like a shooter but had much more depth. And I know in, in some of the early design docs you talked about sort of creating an FPS plus versus an RPG light. What was the difference in your mind between those two? I think for us, is the game of, the big difference between System Shock and Bioshock ended up being that System Shock was more about your character growth and Bioshock was more about the environment. Because the fuck is System Shock? Shock? I've never heard of that. System Shock 2, we didn't really have the either the our team to make enough assets or the visual power to sort of make a, comp a really convincing environment. But as we started working on Bioshock, the art team was so strong that the ability to tell a story within the environment became the most important thing about the game. And that was sort of not something we thought right at the beginning. That was not really a concept we had. But as we started building it, we could realize <laughs> that the visual world was the star. It's an old PC the game. Ah. The star of this thing. And telling the story outside of cutscenes telling it in the world so the gamer could discover the story rather than us telling him the story it played a lot with your mind is it worth it playing today much for the time, uh, do you think time, or does it not hold up as well perspective oh, man. Growth in shooters. i know all about perspective really revolutionary but i think system shock 2 was you don't know all right i'll look into it ask a few questions and, online uh, because we, we focused a little bit primarily part of it was to just figure out how to do that all on a console perspective it's like ps1 really graphics i mean ps1 graphics aren't like Awful, you know. No, I remember even the early demos. People would like, you know, you'd see a pause and you see like a upgraded weapon. People like, oh, I've never seen that before in a shooter. And that was, you know, when you were coming out of the sort of, you know, the portal time time for me to like, cook. Good luck. Eight weapons on the keyboard, and you sort of knew what they were, and they weren't going to change. Sean, was that something that, you know, from a sort of creative standpoint? Was it always clear that that was something you guys wanted to do, or it evolved over time because you wanted to have more depth in the game? I mean, it certainly evolved over time. Damn, how long are these reels? I thought they were going to be like five minutes, less than five minutes. It had its own unique challenges, like certainly upgrading the weapons. You had to design a base weapon that didn't feel like crap, still felt like something that you wanted to use, but then the ability to add the upgrades to, to that, and each of the upgrades could come in any order, so you have to be aware that this, you know, parts A, B, and C could come in at any different time to upgrade the weapon. In a first-person shooter, that's your star. That's the thing that you're seeing all the time. When it comes to other things, plasmids, uh, things that are, you know... Tonics. Tonics, yes, sorry. It's been so long. real long? Ten years. Damn. 
Those things are more offloaded to machines that you would then have to interact with so you're not carrying your inventory around with yeah, you. Yeah, I hated each, hate each upgrading shit and, you know, and having upgrade the player. Yeah, you know, it wasn't like a mouse and You know, this isn't something I'm interested in. <laughs> Honestly, reality oh, check seems like the most interesting thing. You can feel the story grab hold of you. A plane crashes at sea, a mysterious lighthouse, a sprawling city beneath the ocean. Hooking the player from the first touch. Yeah, it has a very good plot hook at the very beginning. Convoluted RPG mechanics was key to the success of the game and the skillful ramping up of Bioshock's legendary gameplay. I guess this was like their opener. Jeff Keighley. Bioshock has an amazing opening sequence that I can't imagine the game without it, with uh, you know, the plane and sort of the crash. But I understand that didn't come online until like the very end of development. Is that, is that true? We had a couple of really depressing play tests. Oh. We had built all these systems. We thought we were doing a good job of like giving basically people a playground to play with and, and things to do. And when we had a play test, we man, we didn't realize this is why play testing is important of a job we were doing in exposing those systems to the player because we were so in you know in these systems and in our own heads, we had no idea that we just weren't facing them towards the player at all. So a after that play test, you know we. we took a long, cold look at what we were doing and realized that we had to introduce the, we were confident enough in the systems that they were going to be fun and meaningful to the player, but we really had to think about how we are going to introduce these systems to the player. And it's Playtests like are important to, for a video game, why like, the systems were there. like in quality checking and having people file, play your game. And expect people to read it, like it has to be Around the fifth guess, I'm sweating. Oh, how man. Introduce people to these systems, but do it in such a way that it fits within the narrative. This flaws and, and, flaws and strengths of the game, for sure. Um, so that the player felt like it was one of the favorite, you know, my one of the battle royales I'm really looking forward to coming out is Blood Hunt. And the devs have like, they opened up a early access test. And they were really excited to like show off their gameplay because they were like proud of it. So it was like an open early access, like anyone could play it. And they took a long, hard look at all everything that people wanted, first and foremost from the game, which was stability, and we, it was basically and like what is optimization. And people played it. And, and they were like, now that we know that this is Boston, what we, we need to focus on, that's what they're doing. There's gonna be a there's gonna be a play test this month. I hope I get invited to play it because it's a closed one. It's a closed play test. It's like watching some guys, some guys. But it's going to like eventually launch soon. Because they said like official release spring 2022. Hope I get the invite too. Yeah, I mean, I played in the first closed alpha, then I played in the open alpha. I'd like to play in the beta. And I'd like to play in the play test. Let me in, Shark Mob. I love your game. And we're all pretty depressed, but um. I think we start talking, and as we talk, we start thinking about what are they saying to us? What are these people saying to us? What we think there's something there. Well, how are they missing it? And we decided that there was maybe they didn't understand who they were and who their role in the as a character, who their role in the Import world was. Because you gotta think they just have to invite him. I know, right? I'm like perfect for the game. And the crash still had, was in the fiction. It just wasn't it, showing. You didn't yeah. see it, so you didn't have the voiceover saying, "My parents always said I was going to do great things or whatever." That they didn't show the plane crash. We didn't establish a time period because yeah. you know the plane is critical to establishing. You're smoking a cigarette. It's very 1960s looking. Um, the, all that stuff was established. It wasn't established. So we decided we had no time and no money and no. So we sort of came up with a script. We, you know, we I wrote some lines, a line I think Nate. One of our artists recorded the line. Steven and Sean and those guys got to work on building this very... Understanding who you are as a character is also important for your enjoyment of a story. Like, where do I fit in? And then the plane crash actually happens over the a, the, di the uh, Bioshock logo we already had. Yeah. But I sort of wrote, we wrote a radio play behind that with, uh -huh. you know, altitude, altitude of the crash. And... That I think set the emotional and the people screaming in terror on the plane crash. That set the emotional tenor much better and explained to the. Because like most of the time, you're often sitting there going, "Why am the I next here?" Encounter we had with people 
playing the demo, yeah. Public Encounter, and all of a sudden it was a very different experience. No, I, I remember even back in the day, we did, I think we did a thing on TV where you kind of talked about it, and it was like that night, and I remember that night, like people on the forums were just like going nuts. And even though the game had, I think, had a lot of press attention, when people finally got to play it and go through that sequence, yeah, I just remember there was just mass sort of excitement around it, and then the game shipped only a few weeks after that, right, or a month or after a, that? Or a, a week later, or a few days later. It's amazing, like, now to, to hear that, like, literally, like, a month before the game came out, like... When you ask that question, you're doing something wrong as a dev? <laughs> no, no, yeah, well, we still had to go through... We think there's something there, there but yeah. like within, what am I missing? It wasn't, it, was, no. it wasn't VAR, it was literally last minute. Which question was it? There's, like, a two-second we delay? We really shouldn't be putting in content that yeah. late, yeah. But, but we felt that we were so close to having something good that... We just rolled the dice on it, and um, we worked really hard on it. Like yeah. we, we had, we worked really hard. I remember how much time I spent on just that recorded of altitude. After that, I could still hear yeah. the different version of that in my head. The, so the why I'm I'm, I'm here. These guys were working. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. The, the animations right, and the the scene <coughs> was shot in engine. Sorry, I forget what I said two seconds ago. <laughs> so that we had to do less QA on it. Right. There oh, was really? no, it the only time asking why I'm here. Crash error. Wow. Is just like, we're just going to show the video, yeah. yeah. And it's interesting because once you start in the ocean, the like Amnesia the Dark Descent does that well. Like, why I, why am I here? Like, this is my mansion. What's going on? Why am I here? You, your character literally has amnesia, but you immediately find a note that explains who you are and why you're there. So I guess that doesn't really count. I don't know. I can't really think of a single game where I don't think why am I here that I haven't like dropped. Game and you were testing it. I'm sure. Like most games have like a setting where you just know why you're there. That change at all? Like even I played a really a really strange game called Escape the Ayuwaki a while ago, and it was just like a it was just a meme game that was made. But I knew why I was there in that horror house because it was like, oh, you went ghost hunting with your friend, or like your friends dared you to go in this house because it's spooky. That's why you're here now. No, I think you were kidnapped to use as a cult sacrifice. I'm thinking of Owl Oni. But like, even meme games will tell you why you're there. A gun is important to getting you immersed in the world because you know when you when you have a uh, all you have is a hammer, everything else is a nail, right? But you don't have the hammer, so you just sort of had to take in the world and have that feeling of fear and um, like I know when you saw that slicer bounding around on the ceiling that you couldn't do anything about and that. Yeah, being unable to do anything is the scary part of things. Like un being unable to fight back. When you can't do and the lights go out. It's like that's the moment with the slicer where you're like, I want to do something, but I can't, and that evokes an emotion. I didn't feel anything here. I'm not gonna lie. I remember we kept moving machine where the machine gun appeared around and where various plasmids appeared around. It was a real. It's a, I mean, it's a real fine-tuning process. Yeah, and it gave us an opportunity, like especially with the shotgun, to to really present the weapons, like put some space between them. The I think moment. they did a good job of yeah, that. It's just I'm stubborn and like certain call things. Call like once I like what I like, I don't care about anything else. Um, when you see the shotgun laying in the pool of light, like every every game developer knows what that means. You know, you know the minute you pick that thing up, something's going to happen. But it's still a very effective way, as I'm remembering it, to, oh, look, I've been waiting for this thing, I'm going to pick it up, and now you have an immediate opportunity to use it. But, you know, at the same time, we're trying to ramp up the tension level by having the splicers kind of on the outside of, of the light. A lot of the scenes, scenes like the little, like, forced fighting back. scenes, were, like, really done well, and I enjoyed them a lot. Very few tools to really control how they, those splicers acted, so how they were set up and how the environment was lit was really important you know those well, there's even other things like when you get the 2k plasmid i don't think we had a lot of physical space and opportunity and time to really present that so we came up with the narrative that you know it was the doctor's office and he used 2k to yeah i did use that machine that was nice to play with in there that threw tennis balls at you so if you wanted to you could catch the tennis balls and throw them and you could knock things down i think it revealed uh pickups that you could then wait there were pickups in the office UK, but we're always trying to think of like little backstories that we could do. It doesn't have to be as involved as, as the shotgun ambush. Sometimes it's just, oh, let's take a grenade turret and turn it into a tennis ball yeah, turret. Because we <laughs> wanted, yeah, like, and because I, I remember like the impulse was, you know, I've been to dentist office and there's always some like weird aspect of the, the dentist personality. They always want to get through their office. You know? Yeah. They just have to have their hobby right, featured yeah. in the Yeah, they do. So they really do. an opportunity there to both feature this, he's a tennis nut and teach TK at the same time. And the stars.
It looks a little different now. Huh. It's Pog. Yeah, that was... Uh, I watched Reality Check, World of Beams. I guess I'll watch Excelsior. The illusion of choice is a thinly veiled dynamic that drives many single player gaming experiences. And while many developers spend a lot of time trying to convince I'm sad I didn't get the morality one, but real and authentic in their games, the truth more often is that choice is a superficial concept in gaming narrative. Bioshock confronted this idea head on, searing into our minds a innocuous Would you kindly with an unforgettable new meaning. Would you kindly? Did you kindly never end stream? Uh, I already took the formula. Um, I'm not. O I'm not obeying that. Of course, one of the most memorable moments in the game is the "Would you kindly" phrase and the reveal of uh, you know how that's been motivating the player throughout the entire game. Uh, it's still, to me, one of the you know, most classic kind of narrative moments in games in the past decade. What's interesting about that phrase is that it, it didn't always start like that. Can you tell us sort of about the evolution of sort of the, you know, the conditioning of the player and really once Excelsior was the phrase? Excelsior was yeah, the phrase? Is, <laughs> I'm trying to recall um, some of this. So I, we had the idea, like, of course, we had the Andrew Ryan scene very early. And we knew yeah, it and the Andrew Ryan and scene that. seems like something that before there was would you kind of um, existed and what it meant. The scene that you'd start with from a game, like you have an image in your mind and then you build off of that. Later, so we. I get that a lot when I'm writing stuff. Because and like Excelsior was it for one point? That's probably some of my my Stan Lee fanboyism. <laughs> was that like so sort of throughout the game? It would have been like Excelsior. Just randomly. Yeah, there, say there that. are some things when you're making games you just sort of throw in as like. We need Sounds something. Cool we need something. Why don't you head over there, Excelsior? And then it sits there for yeah. a year, right. and then all of a sudden you kind of forget it's not good, right? right. And then yeah. <laughs> until somebody comes along and says, "Dude, yeah. what, or Excelsior? you meant it to be like a stub in. You never right. meant yeah. it to actually gain traction, and then you're like, oh crap." But that sense of, of some phrase or word being repeated throughout the game that you wouldn't really realize its meaning yes. um, until later. That Honestly, was really they yeah. could have just switched like cold yellow for Excelsior. Happen, it seemed like a non thing, and then came back at you like a freight train later on like it was it was there from pretty early sit would you kindly stand would you kindly this was a good scene run stop sir a man chooses a slave obeys so that phrase evolved but talk about that i you know the sort of meta narrative of you know being in a game thinking that you have a sense of choice and making I was in his bag honestly I don't know why Ryan had us kill him the player ultimately didn't have choice or was conditioned in a way that they would react to that um, that was I don't understand Ryan's motivation idea for a game where did that come from when or maybe he realized we couldn't disobey Atlas you know, meaning behind at it? some point no look I, I think I was always interested in the concept you know whether it's you know Oedipus Oedipus you headed here but Oedipus sort of Thinking he has, oh, I'm going to leave, you know, this city and go to another city because there's been this prophecy about me, and I'm going to avoid my fate, and I'm in complete control, and then finding out he's not in control at all. To the Manchurian Candidate, which is a story I love. Oh, I never heard the Manchurian Candidate. Who you find out is just a puppet, you know, living a life of a man, and Fight Club. You know, I always love those kind of stories about who am I and what is my agency in this world. Because, look, we struggle. I think everybody struggles, though. You know, how much... How much do we really have control over? And You're in control, to be honest. You're built different. Is that what you think, or is that what uh, Andrew Ryan's letting you think? So, uh, that seemed like a natural. Is that what Atlas is letting story? you think? And because it came from movies, that idea a lot and plays. I don't think it, it was very. There was a lot of. It hadn't been. That's what I know. It's really um, games are particularly interesting because games. Because you feel like you you are interacting with yeah. choice, yeah. And you're really being, you know, most games, especially at the time, you're really just being railroaded. Right. Yeah, old so, games are, you really had no choice. Gamers, and I think probably I did a little of my own underestimation there that they would, it would be a little too pointy-headed for people, but people seem to really engage because probably because it's supposed to be an experience they had, a struggle as a gamer they've always had, which is like I want to control, but how much control do I really have in this game? Uh -huh. True. And, John, I mean, it was also something that, you know, was a great surprise when you played through the game. And I'm sure, e even for people on the team, did everyone know that when Ken was sort of doing it? Or did it was revealed as people played through it? I think, I mean, at, at some point, the, the entire team knew. Uh, it wasn't, um, it was something that was talked about uh, with a smaller group before, you know, we 
his body. He wasn't on Bioshock too. Early too. on, when you when you heard the idea and you, you just kind of clicks, right? You're like, okay, like I totally get this. Did like people get it? I seem to remember people looking at me like I was, it's I was like a luna, lunatic. It's not, maybe <laughs> not the specifics, and maybe it, it's the Excelsior. Or maybe you're talking about the Excelsior yeah, yeah, yeah. time, but the idea. <laughs> that Fucking Excelsior. You don't really have choice, and exactly like you said, you you played through how many video games and. Everybody's game is going to end the same way. You're going to kill these people. You're going to pass through these checkpoints. And you think you have a choice, but ulti your r only real choice is to stop playing the game. So the, the idea that we're kind of mm -hmm. like taking that on resonated. Now, the actual, like, is it Excelsior or is it the Latin phrase? I forgot. Or if it's would you kindly. See, here's how oh I for God. I could be, you know. I could I could be wrong. Yeah. I could remember being so surprised. So, 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 so lame. The internal reaction of being completely nobody connected or engaged to it. I mean, we worked on it. Yeah. And, and so I was kind of surprised by the outside reaction because I kind of thought it was like, you know, as I said, it's as you're academic. Oh, Excelsior. Right? Could you kill that son of a bitch, Andrew Ryan? I could, I could be misremembering it. Or so it bad. Of nobody making the game had the experience of playing it through right. and getting to that moment. Yeah, yeah, I mean, like it was a deal to them in advance of really playing it, yeah. so it wasn't a surprise. Yeah, and they had seen it in all its really half-assed you know, development well, stages and, and along the way. out of order. Yeah, out of order. And, all and it's not really something you can play test over an afternoon because it takes a little while to get to that point. Yeah, you, you need to lack the knowledge of yeah. what the game is. You kind of fits perfectly. Like, There's no way. Uh, yeah. Like, would you kind of like kill that son of a bitch? You guys are talking like, about it seems a little that, weird, yeah, but like, you know, the maybe he just talks like that, you know? I guess very important. Would you kindly help my family? Like, right? And, and you trusted that actor until there was sort of the, re the Fontaine reveal of sort of understanding that? Yeah, trust was everything there, right? And so there was something about either the actor or the writing or the accent that just m people immediately said, this guy's no good. Right. When they, the first Atlas we had, because you have to trust this guy. And if you don't, there's no trust. There's no, you know, there's no punch. They said no right away, but that's just really me. They focused on making him have personal stakes in the story as well, that he had a family trapped. You know, of course, it was all fiction, right? But his fan, he had, he had, he had skin in the game. He, you know, he so spoke to you as a friend, and especially because the whole world was so hostile to you. I think it took a while to get that exactly right. It was a perfect twist in Blue Mind in everybody's minds. It was the phrase they chose was perfect. Because like it can't be something simple as just please, right? It, it has to have it has to be a phrase. Fantastic twist. It was great. Like, I can't think of many other phrases that would, like, kind of laughing, fit like, what they needed. Stock, you know, ten years, hence, a lot of things you guys were doing, uh, you know, or have sort of been become... They were the about, blueprint, like, honestly. Know, upgrades and moral choices and games yeah. and whatnot, but it was really pioneering Excelsior. Work, um, a decade ago. When you oh, about, Excelsior, you could you say... My, oh, your name is Excelsior. Well, like, for me, there's no way to fit that in unless it's his name. With the medium and... How and at that point, anyone could mind control him if his name is Excelsior. To tell that story, um, we use the environment to set up the backstory of Rapture and really. You're just like Excelsior or whatever, place, but like which I think is vitally important to getting the players to trust that, you know, to sit down and kind of like just be in the space and, and let these things happen. You know, even uh, even the radio logs, uh, the rudimentary animation that we had at the time. I mean, we really sat down with the tools that we had and at our disposal and tried to tell a meaningful story and maybe not meaningful but something that would be memorable to people that they could take away and like excelsior and please cool excelsior and andrew excelsior like ryan to, to talk about it after they put the controller down so for me <laughs> I, I think the legacy is that um it was a story well told for me, it was a sense of place being awful is a real thing that would take that you would be you know, it's actually a very crude from the time, you know, a relatively crude bunch of polygons and texture maps, you know, it's only... You would pick up on it, like, immediately, like, something isn't right. I played a lot of it when we were testing it on a 14-inch, on a like, you know, uh, SD television, that it still felt like a sense of place in the music and the and the characters, that it's a real place, and I think that my memories of the Bioshock... They made a good job of making the game feel alive. ...and Elizabeth's a real person. Those are the two sort of big things that stick with me. Who? Two games, and that's sort of what I'll always... Elizabeth? Carry forward with me in my life. Bioshock is, you know, it's a place, but as we saw with Infinite, I mean, it's an idea, and it's a sort of a type of game. I think a lot of people say, like, oh, this is a, you know, a type of experience. Um, when you think about, you know, your career, where you guys want to go, I mean, do you, that idea of those types of games, 
do you miss it now that you've sort of moved on to other things now, or do you feel like it's sort of you've closed that chapter? I mean, it's always a part of what you do. I like, feel like they can't add anything to the Bioshock. Of Bioshock. It was, oh. But it, it wasn't System Shock 2. It was, it was a gro you know, you're growing past that and trying out new things. I, I think Bioshock and Bioshock Infinite and even going back to Swap 4, those will always be a part of my Not Bioshock 2? Oh, you weren't part of that. That's right. And, According and to his nameplate. To do with the medium. So I don't think it's something that you just draw a line and say, you know, we'll never return. Because there's always lessons that you can learn and things that you bring with you to the, to the next project that you're working on. I don't think the new game is going to, like, people are like, they're not going to... Right in the middle of your prime, Iris? First of all, I was a year old in 1999. Before in terms of world building. And don't even give me that. The storytelling, um, the goal is to sort of, you know, move away from the you really have no choice kind of kind of thing. And that's oh, a very, 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 very hard problem because we spent years working on. But we're building upon a foundation of stuff we've done before, um, just trying to go in a different direction with it. But... It's, it's, it's always going to be part of our DNA. Oh, Bioshock has become your Adam? In cities where the artist would not fear the sense, where the scientist would not be bound by petty morality, where the great would not be constrained by the small, and with the sweat of your brow, rapture can become your... Adam ended up looking... Or, sorry, um, Atlas ended up looking like the statues... I take that Adam, what's the most that can happen? Your DNA changes? It's additional content. Or connect to the narrative events as Puzzle solving expiration. No weapons and no damage dealing plasmids. I don't want to do that. What if it changes into something cool? <laughs> I'm going to take my cat ears off now. Stop it. Well, RIP the ears. Yep, ripped them right off. So. I'm gonna check real quick to see if I own Bioshock 2. Now you only got two? I know. No, I don't own Bioshock 2. I own Infinite, but I don't own Bioshock 2. How much is it on Steam? Check real quick. Let's check. That's my wish list. Hold on. Featured. Search. Bioshock. Ooh. Bioshock 2. 20 bucks and then apparently the DLC adds to the story as well Bioshock 2 the collection Bioshock the collection includes oh that's like a whole different game 7k more points you want Minecraft? Uh, do, 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 do. Bioshock 2 Sons of the Past. A monster has been snatching little girls and bringing them back to the Undercity of Rapture. The Big Daddy has a travel. Oh. So it's essentially I'm saving little sisters again. Overall reviews are mixed. Big daddy time? Yeah, I'll be a big daddy in the next game. Alright. Well, I have beaten uh, Bioshock 1 Remastered. Uh, we watched some of the devlogs to kill some more time. Huh? You zoned out? It's like that sometimes. Really, Paul Game? Yeah, it was fun. Big Daddy Iris? Yeah, next stream, I'm gonna be a Big Daddy. And you're all my children. Big Daddy Iris soon. True. I might even be tomorrow, honestly. Let's check. Let's check. Um, events. 
Tomorrow, yeah. I'm much older than me, so checks. Kimrari is a filthy liar. We're the same age. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna. Let's see, let's see. A few months apart. Yeah, same age. Um. What kind of game are you guys interested? We've got. Holy shit. Mark is streaming Elden Ring. I haven't seen Mark in ages. Hold on. I'm raiding Mark. Mark hasn't streamed in so long. I gotta raid Mark. He's been going for an hour. Gimmer's like four years old. Wow. <laughs> so, you guys can go check out a Elden Ring stream. Thank you for coming by, and thank you for playing Bioshock with me. We'll be doing Bioshock 2 tomorrow. So catch you there. I'll be a big daddy. You can't miss it. <laughs> Goodbye!